Bye-bye. No, bye-bye. <laughs> When I was trying to find mittens to buy, I just looked up like mittens and I was getting all of these really cute mittens when I realized they were in fact for babies. They were baby mittens. That was like record time that my SD card got full because I realized I left all of the other stuff from my other video on this SD card and, and I tried to record my, my talk about mittens and it did, it was able to communicate to me that it was completely full. So just deleted everything from the last video off of this now and we're starting clean slate. <laughs> I think I'm kind of obsessed with these mittens. Like I kind of am thinking why, why haven't I been wearing mittens my whole adult life? What I was saying before my SD card got full was that everywhere you look, they just sort of assume you're looking for mittens for a baby, which Hey, why? I'm an adult and I need mittens. The whole outfit is really good, by the way. Also, my friend and I just gave each other, like, amateur haircuts the other day. We just sort of were like, oh, I need, like, an inch off of my hair. Both of us did, so we cut each other's hair in my bathroom. And, um, it looks fine. He did a great job, but I feel like something about the like the bob with the mittens and the sweatsuit is, it's just appearing a little strange. Picked up the camera on kind of a whim today. It's Halloween. I'm not doing anything. I have too many like co complicated cosplay plans in the spring for me to rationalize making a whole costume for Halloween. Also, I feel so bad. This is like my first full year living in Illinois and now I have friends in the city who all invited me to Halloween parties and I have been either busy or working all of those days and now it's Halloween and I haven't done anything. I went to a pumpkin patch. I went to two pumpkin patches. I don't have any special plans tonight. Like my roommates and I might go to a brewery because last year we went to a brewery on the first day it snowed just by chance and it is kind of like the first snow flurry today. Hence the mittens, by the way. I saw the snow and I was like, I know what I need. Honestly, I just have a lot of work to do. Last week I was like all out of whack because I had a friend visiting and I worked because he was also working, but I didn't work as much as I should. So I'm kind of hoping to get a lot of work done this week and I feel really motivated to work, which is not something that always happens, but I feel very motivated this week, so I'm gonna seize that. Okay, I was going to work, and then I realized one thing, one housekeeping thing. If you're new here, you're like, I don't know you, I don't really care, that's fine. If you're returning, or if you've been thinking about subscribing to my Patreon, it has changed. The URL has changed, so if you watch my previous videos or look at my previous like video descriptions, the link is wrong, because I've changed it to patreon.com slash Jamie Green illustration. Oh, one more thing. I used to run an Etsy shop and I have since stopped using Etsy just because I was not having a good experience with it in my later years of using it. And I'm selling a bunch of old stock through Big Cartel. So I have a new shop, jamiegreenshop.bigcartel.com. Sorry, I'm throwing so many things at you. So yeah, if you were interested in buying, right now I just have one thing up in the shop as of filming this, I don't know what's gonna be up there by the time I post this. I'm just trying to get rid of some old stuff I used to sell that I just have left over. So that's on my big cartel. I really want to do some traditional paintings and then sell them. Like I kinda wanna do postcards and just drop them all at once. But I'm also considering making that like a Patreon tier where if you subscribe to that tier, even though it's gonna be expensive, you get a traditional painting sent to you. It's funny how you can actually get out of rhythm with doing something like this. 
Like I didn't realize I would forget how to physically pack orders. The act of like folding paper and putting tape on things repeatedly. It's become difficult for me because I used to do it all the time. And now I'm like second guessing every everything that I do. Like, oh, should I really put that in a plastic bag? Or should I be sticking it to cardboard? Should I be folding it this way? Do people care? I definitely don't have the supplies that I used to have back when I was doing my shop more regularly many years ago. I feel like I had a bunch of different types of compostable packing materials and I had little like notes that would go into each package that said like, thank you for your order and business cards that were up to date. Don't really have any of that anymore, but I'm making do. I think I'm still making it look kind of nice. This is tissue paper that I designed myself like three years ago. And then I just put a little piece of washi tape. I don't know. something right now oh no Glossier changed their formula to their balm.com, I don't know when, months ago. And quite frankly, I like the old one better. This one, I don't, like the oils and the actual chapstick kind of separate within the tube. If you don't have the tube like upright or on its side, it'll maybe up, 
Maybe I shouldn't actually put it on its side. Maybe that's the issue that I'm having. And sometimes I leave it in my bag like this. So maybe it's my fault, actually. I have three. I kind of always have three on me at all times because, and you don't care by the way, because this one is before bed. It's like kind of mint, minty and it doesn't have any tint. So then if you like roll around, you like put it on before bed and then you roll around on your pillow and your mouth and face gets all over the pillow, then the, it's not pigmented so it doesn't, no color on the pillow, you get it. This is like my daytime, my daytime lightly tinted one. Then this one is like daytime with a, with a sexual twist. It's just a more pigmented, like this one, yeah. And then, has this been out of focus the whole time, by the way? Just by the way? I liked their cherry one, but that was discontinued with the new formula, unfortunately. And I understand that they do the applicator. This is gross, actually. Sorry to show you my disgusting applicator, but it's because I don't, I don't apply it like, I don't like squeeze and smush. The squeeze and smush method just doesn't really work for me. I like to do it where I put it on my, I squeeze it out, I put it on my finger, I put it on my lips, which is not as sanitary, but I always wash my hands. I don't just raw dog it out in public. Like I don't go to the grocery store and I'm like, what if I... If you see this little strand of hair right here, no you don't. I'm kind of wearing my ragamuffin outfit today because I'm gonna be painting with gouache. I have ruined too many clothes now to not learn from that. I also need to go to the post office to drop off all those orders I packed yesterday. I need to email a client back. Basically, I've gotten a lot of my client work sent out, my like book illustration stuff, and I'm waiting for them to get back to me. So in the meantime, I'm gonna work on some paintings to sell in my shop. Is this the thumbnail?
they always use Jonesy for reference? I do for scale. You, you use I mean, Jonesy. That's, that's I mean, everyone does. Well. Everyone does use Jonesy for reference because okay. he's like the default guy. Right. You can use other people, but I just think it's funny. Yeah. I think it's funny. He's always there. <laughs> is he like the main character of Fortnite? I think he is the main character. Okay. okay. Is he like the first? I think he's like the, the first main guy. Is Jonesy. So it's about 10.25 a.m. CST right now, and that's a bit of a late start for me. I woke up at 9, and it's not normal. Usually I wake up between like 6 and 8, but because I've kind of been out of a routine the last couple weeks, I am waking up way later. And I don't really love that feeling. I don't love the feeling of the day being kind of gone by the time I'm awake. I like the feeling of kind of beating the world to it a little bit and getting like fake time. I was up so late last night. I was up till 1.20 because I was reading my book and I'm really late to reading it, but I'm reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. I know, we're, everyone's over it by now. I was kind of hesitant to read it for the longest time because of its popularity, which I know is stupid, but I'm so glad I did pick it up because I'm really enjoying it especially from the perspective of someone who went to art school and is a creative. Even though I'm not a game developer, I feel like I can relate because I have thought about making games before. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. I think the characters are written really well and I can't stop thinking about it, which I guess isn't always a sign of a good book because, hey, I read Akatar, couldn't stop thinking about that either, but maybe for different reasons. I'm like 70% through the book. It left off on such a horrific and sad place, but I physically was like, I have to stop reading. I can't, I can't keep going tonight. I would have finished the book if I kept reading and then I would have been up until 5 a.m. Every morning I've been going on a Pikmin walk, n AKA a normal walk, but I play Pikmin Bloom while I'm doing it. Do you guys want to see, hey, do you want to see my Pikmin? Literally, what the heck? Oh, I'm still- I'm never gonna be over this one. <laughs> In case you don't know, it's a step-based game, and you achieve things by walking and doing actions while you walk. It's like Pokemon Go. You should be playing it, and by the way, if you play it, you should ask me for my code so that I get a little something special in return. But I walk around, like, my apartment complex every morning, just to get like 2,500 steps in and then I feel like refreshed to go about my day and I feel like my head is a little bit more clear so I can do my work. And then kind of halfway through my day, that's usually when I'll stop and go to the gym and then if I don't go to the gym, I just go for like a really long walk or a run. But while I'm at the gym, I have started adding on a little bit of walking on the treadmill at the end of every session for Pikmin. For my Pikmin, by the way. I have never wanted to walk so much in my life. I've always walked because it's just very good for my mental health and my physical health. But Pikmin has pushed me to get steps in more than anything else ever has in my entire life. I'm gonna go on my walk, going to get back to it today, basically doing the same thing I was doing yesterday. I'm going to keep painting. I'm either going to just finish one more and then call it at five or I'm gonna do a six. Or if I'm feeling really crazy, I might just paint all day and do like three more. And I have a feeling those will be up in my shop before I get a chance to edit this video and put it up. I don't really know yet. Also, I need to water my plants. I have a fidget spinner coming in the mail. And what else? I want to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, if I'm honest. If I'm really vulnerable right now, I do want to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But when, when am I gonna... It'd be really funny if I went and saw it alone. Like, it would be hilarious if I went alone to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, starring Josh Hut Hutchinson. Hutcherson. Hutchinson. Starring Josh Hut... Josh Hutcherson. Starring Josh Hutcherson. This is the kind of movie that I feel like I need to see with my roommates, so maybe I should just wait a little bit.
nearly out of a lot of my gouache. I'd say the only ones I have a lot of is white and this cadmium red that I bought separate from the rest of my gouache a few years back. Eh, maybe longer than a few years back. I feel like I have not bought gouache in what seems like since mid-college. I might switch over to acrylic, which I have a lot more of. I also have one tube of acrylic wash, and I know you're not supposed to mix the two, but out of desperation, I have been. And I mean, it, this, is, this is it mixed, and it looks okay. Okay, so I do still have to do sort of the hand piece of this. I'm gonna go in with like a colored pencil once the hands have dried and then kind of just make some fingers. But I'm gonna peel the tape off. Yesterday I started on this one and quite frankly, I just don't really like how it's looking. There might be a way to save it, but I don't know if it's really worth it to me because I'm not super enjoying it. So maybe I should just start some new ones. I really liked the shape of this guy. Sorry for the lighting. I like the shape of this guy. So maybe I'll do something similar to his shape. Vernon is sort of communicating to me at the moment that uh, he would like me to magically make his automatic feeder feed him even though I don't control that, but he thinks that uh, the owners of the household kind of do. I honestly really was going to go to my regular gym today and I was going to do a leg day, but I can't stop thinking about this book. So I think I just need to uphill walk on the treadmill and maybe finish Im immediately as soon as possible right now. Even though I did chest yesterday and I am incredibly sore, especially my shoulders, I am gonna do push-ups for whatever reason. I just feel like I need to work on those and I think I need to be doing them every day, almost every day, in order to improve. I also wanna get my bench up. Yeah, we're gonna do some post-walk push-ups. I did not finish the book, by the way. <sighs> Oh, I didn't count. It's probably 10. I think I'll just do like three sets of that. Maybe I'll also do some pull-ups. My wrists really hurt today. I don't know if that's from fidget spinning, my heavy metal fidget spinner. The 
residue. Oh, so you're taking a video. Yeah, just got to include yeah. this in the blog, of, of course. course. You know, just sort of let the people know what they're dealing with. I don't know if I saw someone else doing this on the internet. I don't know if I would get the ick or if I would enjoy it because it's very honest. I think or if I'd be like, that is vile that those people let that happen. I think this is something that people just have to deal with. It's like having a clogged toilet. Like, nobody wants to deal with it, but when you have, you live somewhere. Yay. So um, now, so we I'll can just wipe, just wipe it. it with some paper towels. It smells like now, this smells like summer camp to me. Like, it's so dirty and disgusting, but they tried to clean it. I don't know why when I record in a setting like this, my features just kind of disappear. I also look like a Christmas elf. Like, my nose and my cheeks are rosy, which is completely unnecessary. What do you do when you come out of the dressing room and the person asks, did that work for you? I just say no. If it doesn't work, I say no. I just say no. Where do I put this? I'm not like, oh, no, almost, like, <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I'm just like, no. And it's not by choice. It just, it, that's what comes out of my mouth. No, it didn't work out. And now I'm having to look you in the eyes and say, no, it didn't, it didn't work out. It made my, it, it, basically I went to the coffee shop this morning to work and I did do some work. I did work for a client that was due next week I just got it out of the way and I turned it in but I was hoping to edit this video while I was there has this been shaking the whole time by the way I'm holding the phone on the steering wheel I don't have anywhere else to put you should I put you here great that's good anyways I meant to edit this video while I was at the coffee shop and I didn't bring my camera Therefore, I didn't bring the SD card. So now I'm leaving, I'm going home early and I'm going to go work on it at home because what other choice do I have, really? <laughs> I goofed it, I freaked it, okay? I took it to the coffee shop and I freaked it.